Well, after um, having an opportunity to uh, look at the tape from last night's game, I uh, was really uh, pleased one again with our guys' effort uh, in the focus uh, that they were able to maintain with the absence of um, Hickey out there and then with uh, Kamush not available for the second half um, being able to play. I thought our guys were able to maintain their uh, poise, uh, played extremely well and made the necessary uh, plays down the stretch, both offensively and defensively, uh, to get us through the uh, game last night. Uh, and again, after long layoff, 12 days, um, I thought uh, uh, they, they played well uh, with everything that was in front of them and with all the distractions, being in school, studying, lack of practice, and uh, all the other little things. I thought they did an excellent job. So. Look forward to a, a great trip. Uh, these next uh, uh, two games on the road, uh, be it at Boise State and, and Cal Irvine, coming back home for a day or so, and then leaving back out to go to Marquette. I think it's going to be very challenging for us, and it's something that we look forward to uh, preparing for a great um, and tough conference schedule. Coach, I know you haven't had too long to think about it, but any more news on Charles Carmouche? I haven't. I won't know anything until uh, today. I know we've got a report. He will be out today. Uh, he won't practice with us. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure in terms of the extent. I think it's more of a, a soreness uh, that may be there. I don't think that there's anything that should prevent him from uh, playing here in the future, but he won't practice today with us. Coach, just in general, can you talk about some of the challenges that a team faces when they go on the road uh, as opposed to playing at home in front of their own crowd? Oh, absolutely. A lot. I think uh, take, for instance, the Seton Hall game. I thought our crowd uh, played a huge role in our comeback because our guys were able to feed off of, uh, off of our crowd. I thought that the adrenaline, I thought that they played a special role. Uh, in that, I think when you're on the road, that's something that you have to guard against. You have to be a good enough basketball team that when a team make a run uh, on you, how are you going to handle that when you're making a run against an opponent? How are you going to handle it, um, especially uh, being in the confines of a place that's uh, a little bit different for you? You know, when you're at home, you have the comfort of sleeping in your bed, uh, in your locker room, uh, your fans, and when you're out there on the road, it's totally different and your schedule's somewhat thrown off and it takes a disciplined team uh, to be able to go through those things, remain focused, and to win basketball games. And that's a sign of a good basketball team and growth uh, when you're able to uh, win on the road. When you're preparing for this Boise State game, how much film, if any, do you watch of LSU Boise State from last year and can you draw anything from that? Uh, I think mostly but it's going to be this year. Uh, uh, to have an opportunity to watch those guys uh, play, and that's what I have to really draw from what they've been able to uh, do this year. Uh, our style is a little bit different uh, from what they would have played last year and what they would have done offensively and defensively, and I generally don't try to get ahead of myself. I'm generally a game-to-game -game person, so if we're playing last night, take for instance um, uh, Chattanooga, I want to make sure that I give my full attention and then last night after the game, I would watch, review that game, and then pick up uh, Boise State, our next opponent, and start watching and viewing them uh, as well. I preach to our players uh, one game at a time, and I try to make sure that I, uh, I do that uh, as well. Now, our coaches, whoever have the scout, uh, whoever scout it is, will do a great advance, and they will start working on it weeks ahead of time in terms of their preparation. But for me, it's generally... Um, after our, our last game, which would have been last night. Johnny, after looking at that last night, how encouraged are you by what Big Johnny and Siobhan did against the zone? It seems like Siobhan's a zone breaker in a different way. He's not going to get outside shots, but he seems like he always finds the right spot. Yeah, but he's capable. You know, I think Siobhan is shooting uh, maybe 30 for oh, about 40 something percent, maybe uh, not better from the uh, three point line. So he's capable of stretching. Uh, the defense, but uh, he's a great slasher in uh, getting into the gaps and making plays. Um, and we have to continue teaching and continue working uh, as a team in terms of recognizing the defense and, and, and when we're being double teamed or uh, when we need to.
continue to hit gaps. And I think as we continue to improve in those areas, we'll continue to become a better basketball team uh, as well. And, and Johnny's uh, very strong and he's powerful. And a lot of times he tries to play through some things. Uh, but I think he's just, um, as, as he continues to get better and continue to grow as a player, uh, I think he will become a better team when he recognizes what the, the uh, opposing team is trying to do to us defensively.